Okay, you guys. Oh my god. I just worked out with a personal trainer. This guy named Mac, Mac Fit on Instagram. I've been doing Instagram stories with him because he's training me. He reached out to me on Instagram and honestly, he's done amazing transformations. I've always thought he kind of just worked out with like girls that were already fit <laughs> and just already looked bomb, but he's done some crazy transformations. And like, I really want to like transform my body and not even to be like skinny at all. Like I do love being thick. I love having butt and thighs. I just want to be like toned, you know? And like, I can barely hold you guys up right now. I'm like, actually kind of dead inside. Oh God, my body. Oh. And we've already scheduled two more, um, two more sessions before my tour. <laughs> my body. I'm like, I'm like dead for real. It's 11 o'clock and Jason's eating a pickle. And he got a bite of cookies in his hand. Holy shit. I think we don't like this. I'm not a pickle person, but... I mean, I wish I did like them. They look good, but... Too tart. So clean. They have a weird sour taste to them. Look at that cycle over there. Huh? Look at that cycle over there. Oh my god, why is he out here? He looks crazy. Should we play a prank on him? If we go over there, I think he'll talk us into shooting something. He's leaving. Is he leaving? <laughs> Just leaves everybody there. You Are you sure that was him? In the white Tesla with, with the camera? There's my new car. That's so weird. Okay. We will be taxing for the next few minutes, so please remain seated with your seatbelts fastened and all items stowed until the seatbelt sign is turned off. Please make sure you have all your personal belongings before you exit the aircraft and be careful when opening overhead compartments. On behalf of United, our Starlines partners are in your entire flight crew. We thank you for flying the friendly skies with us today. We hope you've had a pleasant experience and we'll look forward to welcoming you again on another United flight. Enjoy the rest of your day. Good morning. Okay. Took a big old nap on the plane. Slept the whole way. Feeling refreshed. Now it is about 10 a.m. Vegas time. I need to find a cab. I did not put myself car service. And see if Planet Hollywood will let me check in early. Just the morning to check in early at 10.30 a.m. Should have called ahead. Once again, we're playing on my part. We are in Vegas. And you're along with me. New merch. Ooh, my New merch. At shirtscom Mukbang the puppy. Ooh, ooh. Okay. So I just went to this bling shop in Vegas and I already bought something and I just went on the plane, off the plate for like a minute. I got this bag, which is so cool. But yes, I love Prada bags and I love Louis Vuitton, but like cheesy little bags like this make my heart. I was so happy, so I just got it at the store. Tags, togs, so pretty. It's just like all bling and glitzy stuff and I, I was like, yes, that's, that's what I need, so. I keep being distracted by food and gifts. <laughs> Which I can get to the hotel without a <gasps> coach. Yeah. How cute is this section? So adorable. I want all of this. So cute. Okay. Okay. Look at this. This is so cool. Okay. It's a little hint of what I'm doing here. Double doors. Yes, Planet Hollywood doing this right. Last time I came to Planet Hollywood, I didn't have the greatest experience, but already, is that good? Off to, wow, an amazing start. Woo, cute. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Crazy. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Hold on. Oh. The TV, I'm sorry guys. 
<laughs> I had to rush to the bathroom. Wow. Wow, this view is amazing. Wow. Whoa. This is way too big. I'm literally don't even know if I'm staying the night tonight, but it's it's really sick. I want to stay the night, but I, I don't know. I want to go home too. Vegas is fun. Wow, this view is crazy. If you have someone to enjoy it with. And I think that's life in general. If you have no one to share these awesome things in life with, it's not as much fun. It's still cool. This room's still really sick, but this view is insane. Wow, I wanna live here. <laughs> I wanna do a show here. Yeah, <laughs> this is so cool. Wow, I really like this room. Wow. Aria has the best Chinese food place ever. We ate there before when we were here. It's so good. Okay, you guys, I need to blot my face and get ready because I am going to the studio, the creative studio. I don't know what I'm allowed to say. I'll figure it out today. Maybe I'm allowed to spill the beans, but uh, yeah, you girls will probably see it real soon, whatever, whatever's going down. So maybe I'll do a little exclusive update for my Trishy Land patrons who will already have seen this by the time this goes up. <laughs> All right, guys, I am back in Los Angeles. I literally went to Vegas for eight hours. Um, I was gonna see the night, and then I just realized, like, life's not really that fun. You don't have, your vacations are not that fun if you have no one to share them with, so. I came back to LA, and um, I didn't know Jason loved me already. He not only, he picked me up from the airport on a Monday. He offered to pick me up from the airport, which is crazy. No one does that anymore with Ubers. <laughs> Our plane was on the runway for 40 minutes. So he parked and just didn't get baggage claim. And not only that, he's being so cute about it. He's not grumpy. He's like, don't be sorry. He's sending me clues and I'm really blown. Oily. He's sending me clues to find him <laughs> on my phone. And it's the cutest freaking thing. I, I just, ugh, I don't know why he's so sweet to me. It makes me want to cry. There's a waiting area over there. I feel like I'm, I haven't seen him in months yet. I saw him this morning. Okay. Alright. see where he's at. He's wearing a white sweater. Find the clues. Okay, I see another waiting area. So much fun. I don't think I've had anyone pick me up from the airport since like 1997. And it's not an exaggeration. <laughs> it's really, really nice. And it's LA too. Like, you guys need to pick me up. Silly. Am I in the right place? Maybe I should. My phone. Find the clues. Find the clues. This looks like a no go. Okay. <laughs> oh, where the heck is he? Catch a chance on. Let's go find these clues. Which I thought were silly, but. Audio message. Okay, let's walk this way. <laughs> I can't imagine there's a coffee bean nearby. Please take a moment to ensure that the bag you claim is 
That bag falls again, it's going to. Oh. Okay. Let's see what it says. I'm trying to get the shot. Are you coming down the escalator or are you walking down this long ramp? Hi! Can she say hi to you? Yeah, give me one second. Hold on, let me just find my. No, I just gotta find where I'm at. Okay. LA exceptional experience oh. for you, our guest. Right. I was like, I was so emotional. I was like, oh my god, so no one's picking me up from the airport. And I'm like, oh, he's not here. <laughs> oh, there you are. So I feel like it's love actually, so romantic. I haven't seen you in 19 years. I was vlogging too. 19 hours, not 19 years. Feels like 19 years. Look how handsome. Oh, you look great. I was so excited, I thought you were going to be waiting down there too. I had my vlog camera ready, I'm like, this is so romantic, no one's ever waited for me. Not wearing underwear. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Bye, have a good day. Bye. So romantic, look at this. Wow. It just, you know what? It had such a beautiful room. It was so nice. I was like, it's not fun if you don't have anyone with you. Right. Like, I really realized how, like, depressing it is to be alone. <laughs> you know? I mean, like, maybe my mom or sister would have been there. It would have been fun, but... You look great. I've never seen you look so good. Really? Yeah. I mean it. Thanks, babe. My trainer's working. <laughs> maybe one day. I'm going back Wednesday. Your face looks thinner. Really? Yeah. Um, I'm trying Not that to... I care. You look amazing no matter what. <laughs> I know. I'm no, saying you. you look great. She looks great. I'm just saying she I looks great. I love being skinny, though. I don't care. She can look however she wants. <laughs> just to be clear. Babe, I love when you say something like hey, that. You look great. Really? Just saying. Yeah. Thanks. I don't know, maybe it's your makeup. I don't know. Oh, thanks. Well, I don't know. <laughs> well, now I'm not supposed to make it about weight. I don't know. No. I don't know how I was going to give it about. You look great. It's a compliment when you say I look skinny. You do. You look skinny. You're so sweet. Did you lose weight? I mean, I'm trying not tiny. to eat so much. Yeah, me too. I'm only trying to eat like one meal, like a day. Not like one meal a day, but like healthy things and then like one kind of meal a day. I fucked up the thing. I was, I was waiting right by this escalator Aww. and there was no head on it. And so I was like hoping I'd see your shoes. Oh, but you don't have good shoes on. <gasps> I mean, you have you don't have like <sighs> Trish iconic shoes on. You have shoes I did have some heels on. I was going to change when I got off the plane because the heels are in my bag. And they're like boots. They're really, they're really sexy. How was it? Did you do good? Yeah. Did it come out good? Yeah. Hey, I should have told you that uh, I wanted to ask. I wanted to ask you to uh, oh. ask Chris Angel to. Uh, oh, I thought you were asking to marry you. <laughs> make your addiction to shopping disappear. That's the end of my vlog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working on that one. I did buy this bag. Look at it. I did buy this bag and all the contents inside of it at Vegas and Plant Hollywood. See, I have three bags. I'm only supposed to carry on two. What do you mean, content? Like, everything that's inside this bag I bought in Vegas. Did you buy more stuff? Why are you buying so much stuff? Do you know there's stuff at my house that you bought that you don't even use? Yeah, but in case I need it. An LOL surprise suitcase? It's full of clothes! Good morning, guys. I just woke up from Vegas and I ordered myself a giant medicine ball. It's a way too hot still. <laughs> My life. <laughs> I'm just trying to uh, like, oh, one productive thing though that was good this morning is I officially uploaded my single, is it my other post mate? I also ordered throat coat. Oh, this actually made me feel better. I had two hot sips of it. Um. Oh, awesome. Um, no, but yesterday I was screaming during, like, loud screaming during my um, shoot with Chris Angel and, like, you know, all that stuff. And I woke up this morning and my throat hurt so bad. Oh, my God. And I leave on tour. Today is Tuesday. I leave on tour on Friday. 
So today I'm going to try natural remedies. I'm getting coldies. I like tweeted and you guys always help me because like there's so much stuff on Google. Like I can't. I trust you guys that like have a direct, you know, link and will say like, hey, I'm a performer. Like a lot of you are performers. So, so, so a lot of you recommended coldies. I got a ginger tea from Starbucks. I got the medicine ball from Starbucks. I'm getting throat coat, which I've actually used before in the recording studio. It really does help your voice. So it already makes me feel better. I just kind of burn my throat, but I know you're supposed to drink the tea hot or at least warm. So I got that and I uploaded, did I already say this? I don't know, I'm like losing my mind. I uploaded my new, um, my new, my new single. Do you guys want to see the cover? To iTunes. Um, let's see if I can pull up the cover real quick. It's called Never the Bride. And this is what it looks like. That's the single cover. Yeah, so I think I played the clips for it. Um, I'm performing it this week, so I'm kind of going over my live show tracks. And I need to, need to send it. I'm like doing all these materials and stuff myself. I mean, full screen helps me, but like I'm a little bit of a control freak where like I have to get the like live tracks right. Um, not for the bride, here it is. I love the beginning of it. Over my mouth. Oh, it's hot still. Ooh. I can't read a magazine. Looking at these teen moms living out their dreams. Popping out these panties like a shopping spree. When's it gonna be me? When's it gonna be me? All these other couples make me wanna bar. Maybe I'm just jealous of their running star. I'm so I'm so over with I gotta learn the lyrics. Listening for me. Oh baby, why I am I never the bride? Ooh, it's tight. I, I, I should just get my boom. It's gonna be really tough. Never never. So I didn't wanna sing to tracks. My first live show I sang to tracks. I don't wanna sing. I'm singing to a track, but I mean, um, like a, like a fully produced track. I wanted my vocals, um, to be padded on like the chorus and then like just my voice on the verses. Um, I don't know if that's going to be possible. Oh, I'm going to try though. Like, oh my God, my throat was already getting a little sick. I don't even know if I, I might've even blogged it. My throat was already getting a little, you know, questionable and then yesterday with the screaming I guess I'm someone who's not educated or like I don't feel smart sometimes like I feel like I'm a smart person and sometimes I feel really stupid but I was like oh like screaming that's not but you know what towards the end of my screaming I was like this is probably not good for my singing and I was supposed to record a day two things happened my producer has a show tonight so he wasn't able to like lay down the demo or the background vocals for me and then I woke up like this so I wouldn't have sounded good anyways recording so I'm, I'm kind of thankful that that didn't go through today um but I still need to finish one song on the album which is why my actual album Chicken Palmer and Heartbreak is on delay <sighs> which sucks but it should be up before Thanksgiving and before you know my last leg of this tour and maybe it'll be out next week before you know we go to Houston and Denver but um I'm still gonna perform songs from it hopefully Never the Bride will be out this week and that is the update I'm waiting for Jason to get back so we can figure out 